Hello everyone. Welcome to the second lesson in our series on control accounts. The objectives of the series are to explain the use and advantages of control accounts in a business, to describe and differentiate between the terms debtors control account and creditors control account, and to draw up control accounts from totals in debtors and creditors ledgers. The topic of today's lesson is creditors control account. After watching this video, you should be able to identify different creditors transactions and know how to draw up a creditors control account. Good afternoon. Yes, this is Miss Freeman speaking. How can I help you? Two hundred dollars interest. Yes, in three weeks' time. Yes, I understand. Thank you very much. Who was that, Mom? Why do you look so worried? That was the lady from One D Suppliers, reminding me about my overdue account. Is this the same lady from whom you bought the? The, the, the yes, the lady told me that they have charged two hundred dollars on my overdue account. Oh, and they're not the first people to phone about payments, and you have to pay so much money. What are you going to do? I'll just have to pay them. Where I will get the money from is the question. Anyway, let me just take you home. Oh, is it okay if I give you taxi money? Because I still have to finish this book. Mom, I thought we were gonna buy the sneakers on our way home. Okay, fine. But, you, but you're gonna have to give me taxi money. Here. And keep the change. I want the change when I get home tonight. Okay. Hi, Paula. Can you come over to the salon? Only one word. Paradise. Okay, we'll see you soon. Bye. Hi, that was fast. Yeah, I was just around here at the shop. I want to go buy magazine and I'm in the house. Tell me, what's wrong? You sounded so worried. I've got a call from my credit suppliers again. Is Mr. Green traveling you again? No, it was the other supplier. It is not only Mr. Green who wants his money to be paid as soon as possible. I have two other suppliers with from whom I buy on credit. Wandi suppliers and beauty suppliers. And now my account is in arrears with both the creditors. Are they suing you? Oh, not yet. They've only sent me warnings. But I have made an arrangement to pay at the end of the month. And did you pay them? Yes, but I couldn't pay the full outstanding amount. And now they charge interest. How much interest are they charging you? Two hundred Namibian dollars. That's harsh. Now, exactly how much money do you owe them? I don't know the exact amount and that is what I need to find out now. Yeah, that's what you need to do. You really need to. Do you have all the documents? Yes, everything is in the files. Okay. I think we can quickly do a summary of the transactions with the suppliers from the documents. Hmm. Let me see. Let me see down. Let's get you over. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. How do you mess you have here? Oh, invoices, credit notes, and even an account statement. Tell me, did you pay anything until you received the statement? Yes, I have paid 500 million dollars, but it does not show here on the statement. I have the receipt. But you know it will not because you've made the payment after they issued the statement. Okay. So can we do the calculations now? Okay. Come down, Sarah. To do the calculations, we will have to make a summary of all your transactions with the creditors. Mm -hmm. Give me the file for the duty salon so that we can open the creditors. Here. Yeah. Okay. Now, you can do a summary of all your transactions with both creditors by drawing up a creditors control account. And will that show me exactly how much I owe the creditors? That's right. And we'll collect the information of the transactions from your documents here. Uh -huh. You know what, sir? In future, you should have a separate account for each of your creditors. And then enter the transactions as it occurs on daily basis. Mm -hmm. Okay, you mean like I have a card system for each debtor? Mm -hmm. I should also have a card system for each creditor. Right. That's what we call a creditor's ledger. Where you will have your individual creditor's account. And then we have the creditor's ledger. is where you open the individual debtor's account. Like you have your customer cards. And the creditor's control account is the summary of all your creditor's transactions. Oh, Paula, do you always have to be so complicated? Ah. But it's okay. I understand what you say. Okay, let's start with the documents. You can identify the different transactions while we sort these documents. You can work with our this file and I will pay good supplies. Mm -hmm. But you only have a receipt and an account statement in this file. Yes, I did not buy anything from them during this month. I first have to pay my account before they will give me things on credit again. Okay. You also have an account statement in Wadi's file. Mm -hmm. What is the balance on the statement? Oh, okay. Let me check quickly. Yeah. 5,673 Namibian dollars and five cents. Okay. Let me quickly write this down. The balance of Wadi's suppliers is five thousand six hundred and seventy-three Namibian dollars of thousand, mm -hmm. and the balance owed to beauty suppliers is seven thousand one hundred and forty-five Namibian dollars and eighty-three cents. Mm -hmm. So in total, you owe them twelve thousand eight hundred and eighteen Namibian dollars and eighty-eight cents. Sure, that is a lot of money. Okay, let's identify the transaction. What do you have on the invoices then? <coughs> This one is for the curlers and what brushes that I bought on the 10th of the month. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. I bought three sets hair clippers on the 15th. Mm -hmm. And then there's also a credit note yeah. for the hot brushes that I've returned because it didn't work well. Mm -hmm. That's all except for the receipt for the $500 payment that I've made at the end of the month. Okay, Sarah. When you bought hair dryers, brushes, and hair clippers, and so on, whatever. Was it for you to use in the salon or to sell to your customers? Well, sometimes I bought for use in the salon, but this I bought to sell to my customers. Okay, when you buy goods to sell it, it is a credit purchase transaction. Mm -hmm. When you return goods, it's called purchases returns. When you pay your account, it's called creditors payment transaction. Mm -hmm. When the creditor charge you overdue account with the interest, it's called interest payment. Mm. Alright, now that gives us four different transactions. The credit purchases, the purchases returns, the creditors payments, interest charge on overdue account. Now, we can draw up the creditors control account. Okay. Let's start. The creditors control account has two sides. The debit side and the credit side. We credit the creditor's account if the amount owing increases mm -hmm. and debit the control account when the amount owing decreases. Mm -hmm. It is also helpful to remember that the creditor's account, the creditor's control account, 
is the liability account. Mm -hmm. It therefore increases on the credit side and decreases on the debit side. What do you think? Mm, I think so. Okay. Earlier, we have calculated the creditors' balance at the end of last month. Yes. The balance will enter on the credit side of the account on the first day of the month. Okay. Next, we have to add the amount of the two invoices. $1,875.15 plus $1,600 give you total purchases of $3,475.15. You enter it on the credit side because your account increases. Oh. Remember, this is purchases. Next, we enter the information on the credit side. Okay. Purchases returns worth $330. This entry is made on the debit side mm -hmm. because purchases returns decreases your account. I think that's all. No, 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 no. There is still the receipt showing the payment of five hundred dollars that I've made on the sixth. I think we should enter it on the debit side because my account decreases. That's correct, sir. Unfortunately, we haven't received the new account statements to see how much they have charged for interest. That's true, but the lady from one the supplier said they have charged me two hundred dollars for interest. Okay, let's enter the two hundred for interest then. Okay, and then you can balance the account to give us the amount that you owe to your creditors. <laughs> okay. Do you know how to balance the account? Yes. Let me do it. Okay. Okay. We add the amount on each side mm -hmm. and write it on a square paper. Right. Let's see. On the debit side, we have 330 plus 500, which gives us $830. Right. The credit side total is then $12,818.88 mm -hmm. plus $3,475.50 plus $200, which gives us $16,000. $494.03. Yeah. Then, the biggest amount of the two, which is $16,494.03, is then ended in total columns on both sides. Mm -hmm. The difference between the two totals, $16,494.03 mm -hmm. minus $830, gives us $15,664.03. Which is then the balance of the account. That's good. See how quick that is? Yes, but you know how it goes when you get busy. I think you deserve a cool drink. Wait, Sarah. Okay, what are with you? Okay. But my friend, I don't want to upset you, but you must really pay this account. Yes, I know. Because if you keep your account up to date, the creditors might not pay a discount on your payments. That's true. You know, they did that at first. But now they just add interest. Okay, let's take a look at the creditors' transaction. We've identified from the document credit purchases of goods, mm -hmm. purchases returns, mm -hmm. creditors' payment, interest charged on overdue account. Okay. Now we can add two more transactions for us. When you pay your account on time and the creditors offer you discount, it's called discount receipt. Oh yes. And then I have to end the discount received on the debit side mm -hmm. to decrease the amount. You're right. Okay. You're definitely right. But just hang in there. Hmm. I don't think you need more explanation. Thank you so much, Paula. Mm -hmm. I think I'll be able to bring my accounts up to date at the end of the month. Yeah. Many of my clients have promised to pay their outstanding bills at the end of the month. All right. And I've also learned my lesson not to buy so much on credit. Much pleasure, Gautier. Come, let's go to the coffee shop. My kids. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's summarize what we've learned today. Creditors refer to suppliers to whom the business owes money. Examples of creditors' transactions include credit purchases transactions, purchases returns transactions, creditors payments and discount received transactions, and interest charge on overdue accounts. The creditors control account is drawn up to give a summary of all creditors transactions for the month. This brings us to the end of our series on control accounts.
Goodbye and happy learning. Information is the key to